There are a lot of products that go viral on the internet, some of which are good, others of which are trash. And some of those that go viral, even if they're decent, they can be really, really expensive. Like SkinCeuticals $160 expensive. What? Or they could be decent products, but they're not cruelty free, or they're just not accessible. Well, K-Beauty has some options that are dupes for some of these other viral and very expensive products that are specifically less expensive, have great, if not better ingredients, not to mention are cruelty free. And if you don't know about the Biosense Rose Oil and the dupe that is literally a fraction of the price, we gotta talk about these. Because the Biosense Rose Oil is not bad. This is a really basic oil. It is the squalene and vitamin C rose oil. And it's literally squalene, which is the the oil our skin produces. It's got caprylic triglycerides, which are found in moisturizers, and then some fragrancing rose ingredients. And it's pink and it smells really good. And they call it like a firming and glowy face oil. And it is, but it's also 78 bucks. It's really good. And Biosense as a brand, I love them because they are eco-friendly. They have these really nice packages, but sometimes it's just a little expensive. And especially in this economy, well, K-Beauty has an option. So if you don't want to spend the money on this or you tried it and it's just not perfect for you, but you liked certain things about it, have you heard of this? I've been talking about this for years. This is from Pure Am, which stands for Pure I Am. And this is the Super Glow Dew Oil. This is so good. And it actually has some better ingredients. In addition to squalene, it's got things like jojoba. And yes, it also has flower waxes, specifically rose wax. Now this does have bergamot. And if you know me, you know about my skin, you know that my skin hates citrus and bergamot is specifically like my skin's arch nemesis. Like it just flares up. This does not flare up my skin. And I don't know how they do this. Pure Am is one of the best Korean beauty brands. It's one of the first Korean and beauty brands that really introduced me to K-Beauty. And I'm actually gonna put on my face just so you can see that this doesn't freak me out. Also, look at how pretty that is. Like if you love this for the beauty, I'm just saying half the price, but just as nice, okay? Oh, look at me, I'm rhyming. Anyways, this oil is so nice. And the thing about Pure Am is that they do a ton of sensitivity testing. So even when they have things like rosemary in one of their cleansers or the bergamot inside their oil, this doesn't freak out my skin. And they've actually tested this for sensitivity in Germany, even though it's a Korean beauty brand and the founder lives part-time in Korea, part-time in New York. They are absolutely amazing. And everything they stand for is also wonderful. Now, I could talk to you all day about how the founder of this brand is a mom and how she created this line to care for her daughters and for other young women around the world who struggle with their beauty. But we actually have an entire video on the founder's story. So I will link you to that right here. But what you need to know as far as this goes is if you've been wanting to try this or you have tried it and it's just too expensive, this is a great alternative. Again, it's half the price. It's still really pretty, but it doesn't smell as potent and it's better for more sensitive skin. And if you use this over time, you actually notice that yes, it gives you an immediate glow. And I wouldn't say that either of these really lift the skin, like that's what lasers and facelifts do. <laughs> but if you are looking for something that kind of tightens up the skin and does give it that gluey dough, gluey dough, what are you talking about? Cause I'm doing doughy glue. Wait, dewy glow. That's what I meant to say. Did I say that? What did I say? Goey glowy glue dough? What is that like bread dough made of glue? Anyways, the brain is not braining today, but the girl math is mathing. So you can get two of these for basically the price of one. And K-Beauty, K-Beauty just comes through with this, okay? Okay. Well, there's another option that we gotta talk about that rivals some of the clinical stuff. And I actually hate this, but this is the same reason that so many other people love it. This right here is from CauseRx. This is the C23 Super Vitamin E Hyaluronic Acid Vitamin C. Let me tell you, this is like the budget version of SkinCeuticals. This is so good as a for the SkinCeuticals. Now, I hate the SkinCeuticals because it smells like hot dog water. It doesn't really work very well, but this does work. <laughs> and this is probably the closest thing you can get for the price. There is another dupe for the SkinCeuticals. It's specifically the Medicube. It's a 13% vitamin C. I use that in clinic. It is so potent. It is so good. It's better than this, but it's also a bit more expensive. And when SkinCeuticals is 160, I want some budget options. Babe, this is under 20 bucks. CauseRx is amazing. And so are these ingredients. We have ascorbic acid at 23%. We do have squalene. We have glutathione, we have adenosine, and basically all of these ingredients that help boost up the vitamin C, but also help it penetrate into the skin and then support the skin overall. We've also got licorice in here, so it really does help to brighten up the skin. And this is basically a K-beauty version of the SkinCeuticals. And I don't even have the regular SkinCeuticals to show you because again, the regular one is just gross. But do you see that? It's basically identical. Oof, still smells like hot dog water. I'm still not a fan of it, but if you are looking for something inexpensive, this is such a good K-Beauty dupe to try. Especially because 160 bottles for like a little vial, it's a lot. Even my Paracone CCC Ferulic, I love that. It is the best dupe for the SkinCeuticals, but it's expensive too. And it's an oil soluble version of vitamin C, whereas this is all water soluble. Excuse me, with these prices out here, no bueno. So if I can get, well, I, I do get the Paracone MD on sale. Sometimes you can even find it at Marshall's Fun Fact. But if you're looking for
for a K-beauty alternative that is less expensive, Cosrx has come through. And again, Cosrx has some phenomenal products. Their entire name stands for Cosmetics Plus RX. And they're like a Korean brand that actually focuses on actives because a lot of K-beauty is very soothing and brightening, but not a lot of active focused. This is, and it is so good. And yeah, it rivals the SkinCeuticals, but it's under 20 bucks. Whereas SkinCeuticals is like 160, is 180 now? I think they increased their prices. One of the derms that I works with sells SkinCeuticals in clinic and like hates it when I talk about it on the internet, but you know that I'm gonna give it to you as it is because I'm sorry, SkinCeuticals, like just not all that. I know they do a lot of research. They do have some good products. They do work well, but like they test on animals and they're overpriced and they smell like hot dog water. Okay, okay. Well, something that doesn't smell like hot dog water is corn flour. Have you ever used corn flour antioxidants in your skincare? Because if not, holy look at this beautiful purple bottle. I'm just diving into this. I discovered this through Neuro Lounge, but as I put it on my hand and on my skin, I'm like, wait a second. This reminds me so much of that Melee B3 Dark Spot Corrector Serum from La Roche Popo. If you don't know La Roche Popo, it's La Roche Popo. They're actually really good. I used to use them, but I don't use them anymore because again, some of their is really overpriced in America. If you buy this overseas, like in France, this is a drugstore, like it's inexpensive. It's the price of the ordinary and the inky list. But if you buy it here, it's like 40, 50, 60 bucks. Like what? The Rochi Popo can be a no-no and they also test on animals, which is why I don't use them, even though before I was cruelty free, I did. But we can talk about La Rochi Popo another day. They essentially have this melee serum and it's kind of like this light purple color and it's a vitamin B serum that is niacinamide. And it's not very special. It has fragrance. It's gone viral on the internet, but it's like 44, 50 bucks. Hello, <laughs> this right here I discovered and oh my God, I cannot tell you how amazing this is. First off, look at how beautiful she is. She's like a cornflower serum. If you ever like the look of herbivore, but it's too expensive for you, this literally looks just as beautiful. Like hello, cottage core K-beauty. Like look at this little package. And again, the package doesn't have anything to do with the efficacy, but like we love her. This is from, I think it's called Chicho, Chicho. And it specifically says that it's herb infusion skincare. Now this is the cornflower brightening serum. It does have cornflower and licorice, but this also has ceramides and B vitamins. So it literally has a a bunch of B vitamins and brighteners, just like that Melee vitamin B serum. But this also has ceramides in a nice liquidy serum that literally soothes over the skin so well. And this layers really well too. If you wanted to layer this underneath an oil, like the Biosense or the Pure Am, this is so good. And it's not overly fragranced. Like it doesn't smell like a flower bomb hit you in the face. The La Roche Popo, they spend so much money on fragrance chemists, literally chemists that are focused on fragrancing ingredients. And it gives that specific scent that you associate with that one brand. You know what I mean? La Mer does it, La Roche Popo does it, uh, like so many brands do it. And it costs a lot of money for the fragrance chemist, but knowing that fragrances can kind of irritate the skin, I'm not totally against them. I don't hate fragrances, but a lot of doctors and derms say don't use it because you can develop an allergy. And what I don't mind is the fragrance, but what I do mind is them adding on or tacking on a price for the fragrance. Like stop charging me more for something that could potentially irritate my skin. Even though I like the way it smells, stop it. Stop it, stop it, I tell you. <laughs> like if it's it, like if it's the same price, fine, but if you're charging me more, <laughs> well. <laughs> this Chicho serum is just beautiful. And even if you don't like the La Roche Popo vitamin B serum, this is just such a good one. And this does have vitamin B in the form of niacinamide and panthenol. It is so beautiful. And then the corn flower in here, it really does help to brighten the skin, the licorice too, but it's so much more gentle than a lot of, you know, beauty brands that we'd find from France or Germany or even here in America. And again, what's the difference between these? These are a world of difference. I would say this is much more intense. This is like Korean clinical. Like this stuff is actually powerful, which you can't say about a lot of Korean beauty products. A lot of them are very gentle, but this one is like, this is, is like cottage core Korean. I love this. And then again, if you want luxury and honesty on a budget, Pure Am, that's just what they do. And even Biosense, while it's still a good option, it's gone viral quite a few times, but it's just expensive for what it is. And um, some of the fragrancing ingredients can be a little bit off. This one from Pure Am still smells beautiful, but without the irritation. And here's the thing, while I was going through this, I was also thinking about like, what are some other viral products that I wanted to find K-Beauty dupes for? I have discovered so much K-Beauty. I've been there twice now. And again, the Olive Young stores, it's like two stories. There's a bottom floor that's all skincare and the top floor is all makeup. But then they have this one store called, it's not called Sephora, it's called Chora, it's called Choyo. I can't remember how to pronounce it, but it's like the elevated luxury Sephora of Korea, where they sell like a lot of Dior and like YSL beauty, things like that. And then they even have like these skincare markets and these skincare malls everywhere. It is fascinating. And I discovered Pure Am here in America. I think I discovered CauseRx because of James Welsh online, but this Chi Chico line, I discovered this because of Nuri Lounge. And Nuri Lounge is, it's basically a K-beauty curator and they help you discover new and upcoming brands if you are a content creator. 
creator. Now, if you're not a content creator, then you don't give a f you don't really care. But for anyone who's interested in discovering K-Beauty or for anyone who wants to participate in K-Beauty, like they actually have K-Beauty events, um, I would highly recommend checking them out. I actually got to do a meet and greet with Jean, the founder of Pure Am, while I was in Korea with Nuri Lounge. Oh my God, and I got to go to SoulCon and I got to ring the New Year's bell in Korea. Ah! Hit the subscribe button and hit all so that if I post a short about ringing the New Year's bell in Korea, which is like a Korean tradition that I got to participate in, it was honestly, it was probably the best New Year's of my entire life, okay? Okay. But if you wanna see the short on that and don't wanna miss it or learn about Korean medical tourism and how I got microneedling done as well as seven invasive treatments like chemical peels, microneedling, and CO2 laser in one day in Korea, when that video gets posted, you won't miss it because YouTube doesn't notify everyone every single time someone uploads. But the long story short is that Nuri Lounge is how I found out about like some of these clinics, which ones to go to, which products to try, and they have like real reviews. And that's the other thing is that Nuri Lounge, um, the founder, I believe he's the same guy that started the Dear Claire's line and Wish Trend. I could be totally wrong, like somebody correct me, but I think he's the same guy. Like he really cares about K-Beauty. He and his family are about to add a little baby to the mix, which is so exciting, but he's such an amazing entrepreneur and like cares about K-Beauty and culture and helping content creators as well as customers discover things they like authentically. So that is how I found out about this one. And again, I've known about Pure Am even before they were on the Nuri Lounge platform. I knew about them for years and I've loved them for years, but they're officially on the Nuri Lounge platform now. And I think they're available in India now. And then CauseRx. I actually don't know how CauseRx got started or got you know, popular. I know they started in Korea and it was like one of the first Korean brands that really brought clinical into the mix because like this stuff is intense. And then I know it started getting shared like in America and overseas, but I don't actually know how. And if anyone knows the story, please tell me. Or if anyone knows someone who knows them or knows someone who knows the, the founding story or the history, like I would love to uncover that and understand like not just what makes these products pretty or effective, but like how they actually came to be. Because again, if I can support a brand that's doing amazing things, a mother that cares about other young women and their journey through beauty. This is gonna get my money and this is gonna get my money over some stupid skinceuticals that just wants to charge me nearly 200 bucks for a hot dog water serum. Anyways, I could rant for days. Drive safe, <laughs> make sure that you stay hydrated both orally and topically. Reapply your SPF. Ooh, we don't have any Korean SPF dupes, do we? Well, it's because there's no dupes. Korean sunscreen is just elite. Like, like there's no need to even dupe. Korean sunscreen is just superior, okay? Okay. And overall, most importantly, be beautiful both inside and out. I've linked all of these here as well as if you have a question, you can actually email my team. I get to work with some amazing people who help you build skincare routines for free. Um, it's just something that we do to try to give back to the community for those who are struggling. I love you and I can't wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.